Yo guys, what is going on? We are actually back on Hydrix. My channel seen a lot of this server and apparently I've actually yet to do a full server showcase of this server. So that's actually what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing off all the uh, little pips and peaks of this server and anything you guys want to check out about it. And if at any point in time you guys want to check out this server, just like always guys, the link will be in the description down below. But just like always guys, just before we get into this video, I want to mention the fat giveaway I've got going on. Of course guys, first comment on this video is going to win themselves a bond, so congrats to whoever won that. And then three random commenters on this video are each going to win themselves 25 5,000 donator tokens. So good luck to everybody who enters and just like always guys, all you guys have to do to enter is like the video, comment your in-game name on Hydrix, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications because just like this video, sometimes I do choose the first commenters to win. Let's get into it. Alright guys, moving on to the game itself, the server is honestly pretty sweet. At the moment, as you guys can see, there is an Easter event, which I will be going through this video, but I did just want to do a little bit of a tour for you guys, because honestly, looking back a little bit, apparently I haven't shown too, too much off of this server. This server is honestly really unique in the aspect that it does morph a lot of the pre-EOC content into the old school content, as well as you guys can see with my offhands, they do also have some newer RuneScape content as well, and honestly, it does fit really nice. So of course, we're just going to do a little tour of the home itself. As you can see, it is a little small, but honestly, it does look really sweet. So of course, this is the home here this is going to be your bank area and as you guys can see here you have storage on the bank booth and then of course you have the bank presets as well this is actually really sweet not many servers actually have the bank presets themselves but as you can see here i can set my current gear and then pick up that gear set whenever the hell i want so just like that easy and then coming into the game a little bit more this is going to be the donator store at the moment there is some exclusive items some of them being the easter eggs themselves at the moment there is some exclusive items being the basket of eggs themselves of course for the easter event they do of course have a max hit dummy my current max hit is a 407 and then here's pretty much where you're going to be getting started off into the game itself so of course you got to make some money whenever you get into a new game so pretty much all your thieving stalls lined up here and then you just sell all the goodies i'm not going to go too too in depth into the shops themselves on the server but they are really nice and then moving over to one of my favorite areas at the home here, we have, I guess you want to call the the altar area, I guess? But you have the nurse to heal you at any time. You, of course, have the completion escape, a couple altars here to switch spell books. You can switch your prayers as well. And then the research table. This is actually insane, guys. As you guys can see with the research table, you can make better items by combining different things. So for example, the chaotic raper imbued. You need 10 mil coins, a chaotic raper, and a brutal whip for some extra bonuses. And then of course they have all the chaotics like that. They have a fighter torso imbued. They have a fighter hat imbued. Dragon warhammer imbued. They have pet perks in here. Imbued rings. If you want, you can even trade your halves of keys for other halves of keys. But unfortunately it is at a 50% chance. So good luck with that. But yeah guys, there is a lot of different things on here. Honestly, you can scroll for quite some time. There are some pretty much best in slot things in here. They of course have the tier 90, tier 95 I think it actually is from RuneScape 3. Being the Zero's God Sword, the Saren God Bow, and then of course the Staff of Sliske as well. But yeah guys, honestly the research table is really end game, but it is a really sweet and very unique aspect of the server coming over here a little bit you have a few chests that you can open up here unfortunately i don't have any keys to show off for you guys but moving on up here as you can see we have a workbench so i did go over this on a recent video but pretty much you recycle items that you don't want so for example as you can see my tour of a plate body is worth 300 rune coins and then you come over to the recycling manager over here and then we're going to view his shop and taking a look at this you have a lot of different things that you can buy from this including the gam for junior which is a little uh juicy little pet if i do say so myself Another really unique thing, right beside the Slayer Task area, so you get your Slayer Task here, and then right beside it, you have a portal that teleports you to the Slayer Task, so that's actually really sweet. And then of course, every single shop around here, you do have the Shop Hub here as well, but there are a lot more shops throughout here. You have reward titles, you have cosmetic overrides, there's even an expensive store, kinda wanna take a look and see what's in here. So for 2.1 bill cash, you can buy yourself a Hydrix Halloween Mask. Uh, I can't say I've actually ever seen one of those in game. There's an event token shop. There's actually a lot of different things you can get from these shops, guys. I know I do say it a lot, guys, but honestly, the server is actually really fucking sweet. I definitely recommend checking it out whenever you get the chance. Link in the description down below, just like always. But come on, guys, come say hi to me in game. I will be on here for quite some time. Possibly one of my favorite pre-EOC servers. Alright guys, it's been enough waiting, but now I wanted to do the Easter event on Hydrix here. So I already spoke to the Easter Bunny here, and basically he just said that I have to go around collecting eggs, and gave me a scroll of where I'm going to get the eggs. So the first place I'm going to be going is Aubrey and Varrock, so I guess I'll see you guys there. And here we are, claiming our egg. So I guess I probably shouldn't eat this egg because I have to return it to the Easter Bunny, so now we have to do Silif and Falador. I actually don't even know what NPC that is, to be entirely honest with you but moving on and here we are what's good Silif? so now we have another easter egg completed what's the next one going to gelp in edgeville so i guess i'll see you guys in a minute that was easy enough now we're getting our third easter egg only two left to go and let's go to birthorp and talk to dunstan and claiming our fourth egg here the last one being uh, Painel, Raynel? I don't know, he's an Alcar hit. Let's go find him. That one actually took a while to find. There is Raynel. It would have been a lot easier knowing if it would be uh, Louis Legs. But there we are. We have the fifth Easter egg there. So the quest is complete, I guess I want to say. So we're going to go back home real quick. 
and uh, hand in these eggs and see what we get. I'm not actually sure if there's more that I have to do, but I kind of hope not. So we're gonna hand in these eggs now, and uh, here you go, Mr. Bunny. Okay, so I've been given a pet bunny, the title, the egg collector, and I can now access my hideout for further rewards. Yo, that is so cute. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this hideout. Where am I? I got the Queen of Snow here. Let's talk to her. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, may maybe I shouldn't have done that. Happy Easter. More quests. Just what I love. I actually have no idea what I'm to be doing here. Inspect the season tree. That's a big ass fucking tree. I can't even see it. Uh, what happens if I kill a bunny? Oh, I got bunny ears. Ah, uh, unfortunate. How many pieces of bunny ears do I need to actually create the set? I have no idea. Unfortunate. Well, at least we can get bunny ears here, so that's a feels good, man. But either way, I did just quickly want to go over and see what's actually happening on this Easter event. So feels good, man. That Easter Bunny Jr. is actually really sweet. Look at that hop, guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to move back onto the showcase now. And then jumping over to the quest tab here, as you can see, you have some daily money makers. So for example, if you do two theater of bloods, you get yourself another theater of blood casket. There's a rune coins one, so obtain a thousand rune coins. You get yourself a death touch start and 25 mil coins. You can get yourself five starter keys and five mil coins from, from killing 50 noobs of Zamorak. So I do like that they're adding dailies into the server. But moving on, there are a few quests, but nothing anything uh, too, too overwhelming, I guess you want to say. But then we're going to take a look at the teleports here. I've actually never seen the chill area, so I kind of want to see what it is. Um, Alright, I guess it's chill. It'd be nice to have that campfire lit, but moving on. There's all of the areas that you can train in here, so of course, moving up. You have Barrows, Hill Giants, Frost Giants, Dagonoth Kings. And then, looking at the skilling, this is a really clean interface. Possibly one of my more favorite interfaces on RuneScape themselves. But then we're going to take a look at the bossing, for example. So there are four different types of bossing. You have standard, raids, instances, and prestige bossing. So, taking a look at the standard real quick, tell me that this is not a clean interface. Every single boss in here, it tells you anything about the boss itself. It gives you all the rare drops on here. So, for example, on Corporeal Beast, you have the Invocation? Yeah, I'm going to say that. Invocation Spirit Shield, the Adept Spirit Shield, and the Succubus Spirit Shield as well. Of course, Queen Black Dragon, 10,000 hit points, 2100 combat level, it's a medium difficulty, it hits with melee and range, and it even shows your kill count on here. But as you guys can see here, there are some custom bosses on here as well. So for example, the Demigod Trio, so you can get yourself some Chaotic Fragments there. They do have the Alchemical Hydro, which I did do a video on as well. I will drop that link in the description down below. Moving on, of course, they have the Avatar of Destruction, that's going to be where you're getting your Brutal Whip itself. They have the Night Gazer, they even have a Bad Santa, so you can get yourself a green Santa hat, some snowballs, and some easy clues. They have Dryax, Hope Devourer, Zora, Necrolord, there are a lot of different custom bosses, and unfortunately I can't even access half of them. We're going to teleport over to, I believe, Sliske that was? Nah, this is a Nivea. Um, where are you? Yo, that's so hard to see you. Where, come here. Come here, you little bird. Um, alright. So we're going to kill this bird real quick, and uh, hopefully we don't get clapped, which we actually are. I have no food, no potions, I'm gonna have to teleport. Come on, hurry up. It was already like 80% dead when I actually first attacked it, so even if I do get the kill, that might not even be my drop. Nice. Moving on, let's go claim my items back, and unfortunate, I actually just broke every single one of my Torva pieces. But yeah guys, as I was saying, there are a lot of different custom bosses on the server, so it is pretty sweet. But we are gonna take a look at the instance bosses, because I do want to see what bosses on here are instance. So let's take a look. Oh. So, the bosses that I have instance are Corporeal Beast, the Bando, Sarah, Zami, Armadil, they have Caliphate King, King Black Dragon, and Rise of the Six. So, if those areas are getting a little bit too crowded for you guys, obviously jump in an instance whenever you get the chance. But, looking at this dude at home, this is obviously the Dragon Ornament Kit, but then look at this custom Torva, that looks absolutely insane. One last thing before we wrap up this video, guys, I did want to show off the spring event on the server. So, basically, every four hours, it will give a new event for you to actually go do. And then, while doing that event, while the activity is active, you will receive yourself some reward season tokens, which can reward anything from cosmetics to combat scrolls. So, we're going to quickly look at this, guys. So, we're going to take a look at the first option, what is the spring event? Simply partake in the activity that is active to gain spring token which you then can exchange for a chance to grab some juicy and exclusive rewards and the current activity that is going on right now is the temple of light and then as we can see here the amount of tokens that it gives per is from doing wilderness bosses is 20 to 50 if you kill jad while it's active you get 100 donating and voting so one dollar is 300 one vote point is 50 slayer survival which is pretty much just doing slayer tasks you got 450 the recycling center is one to one for rune coins and then clue scrolls each you get 50 and then more slayer you have the theater of blood for 300 the calamity from anywhere from 330 to 3300 so that is definitely a lot the temple of light pillar and then barrows for 75 per chest i do like little activities like that on server so you're not just mind-numbingly doing the same thing over and over and over it does give a little bit more of a uh, i guess you want to say drive to do something else but overall this server is actually mad clean 
there's a lot of different things on here you have you have a lot of different perks so as you can see you have a hidden avas accumulator double experience perks you have things like green fingers and pet hunters which i believe are some auras smelly fish so at my ex-girlfriend you have some stamina boost player wars perks you have food heals that's currently the one that i use and then there's even a clean looking kill count interface on here as well a few more settings through it here, but guys, I'm not going to spoil too, too much. Obviously, you guys want to check out this server yourself and not just watch me play it. Highly recommend jumping on whenever you get the chance. It's actually a really clean server overall. I think this is maybe my sixth or seventh video on here, and I'll keep coming back whenever I can because honestly, it's mad clean. But either way, guys, with that, I guess I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to enter that juicy giveaway. Get yourself that juicy little head start in the game. As you can see in here, 25,000 donator tokens can buy you a lot of different goodies on here. If at any point in time you want to come check out the server, the link will be in the description down below, just like always, guys. But until next one, later.